A Northport man is charged with a mass shooting in Tuscaloosa. And 17 people are recovering from gunshot wounds. Thank you for joining us. I'm Philip Coleman. And I'm Terry Brewer. Lynn Brooks will join us in just a moment, continuing our special live coverage on this morning's mass shootings in downtown Tuscaloosa. But first, we start with the latest on the investigation. Police say this man, 44-year-old Nathan Van Wilkins, has been charged with 18 counts of attempted murder and two counts of shooting into an occupied dwelling. He's being held on a $2 million bond, and about an hour ago, police added additional charges to Wilkins for a shooting in Northport. WVUA has been on the scene of the shooting at Timerson Square since the shooting happened. And that's right, and we have been bringing you special coverage of the investigation all day long. WVUA's Lynn Brooks has been at the scene, and with police today, she joins us live from downtown Tuscaloosa with more. Lynn. I'm standing in front of the Copper Top Bar in downtown Tuscaloosa in the Timerson Square area, and uh, Copper Top still has a sheeting over their windows completely shut down. But as for this area in general, it has uh, it is back open now. The crime scene tape has uh, been down for a while now, and it's area now back open to traffic, and people are, are taking advantage of that. Uh, we've seen several onlookers coming through this area, but other than that, primarily media in this area where the gunman opened fire and injured 17 people. Police at this hour believe they have their man. They say that's 44-year-old Nathan Wilkins. They're charging him not only for uh, the shooting that happened here in front of the Copper Top, but also for a shooting that injured a 30-year-old man in Northport. WVUA's Taylor Sanders joins us now with more details. Timerson Square in downtown Tuscaloosa started off its Monday night pretty normal. Bars full and surrounding restaurants closing up shop. Owner of Rolly Poly Sandwiches, John Long, says it was nothing out of the ordinary. Well, I was here at about 11 o'clock and, and that's when I left. It was really a pretty quiet night, most Monday nights are. But things quickly changed when a man opened fire outside of Copper Top Bar on the corner of 4th and 23rd, shooting 17 people, several with critical injuries. That's when police began their search for a suspect. I only got to see a gentleman's, you know, shady picture of walking up the alley with something in his hand. But it was that shady picture, along with surveillance video, that helped Tuscaloosa police identify a suspect, who later turned himself in at a store in Jasper. We do have a suspect in custody at this time. It is a gentleman who went to the Jasper area and made contact with law enforcement up there and he's indicated that um, he was involved in the incident yesterday. 44-year-old Nathan Van Wilkins was taken into custody and charged with attempted murder. And local residents say this type of thing doesn't have to happen. This is a very good community. You know, this is uh, one of the most, you know, celebrated areas, you know, especially during football season. I think, you know, it just happened to be just an anomaly that somebody wanted to ruin it for everybody else, and unfortunately there hadn't be a weapon involved. Police say they are still investigating a motive for the shooting. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Taylor Sanders, WVUA News. After a 12-hour search, Wilkins was picked up by Jasper Police. Jasper Police telling us that uh, Wilkins told them he originally uh, wanted to be killed by police, but then for some reason, we don't know why, he changed his mind and he left this scene on foot. Of course, had he not made the decision to do that, it could have been much worse. Very frightening either way for people who were here, Daniel. It really was. You know, it's a much different scene. Right now it's quiet, just media out here. But last night about 12 midnight, 1230, there were people screaming at the after gunfires here. We talked with some of those witnesses today who were actually inside of Copper Top when it happened. One of those is Nicole Kirkaroo. We talked with her. She said that she and her roommate just happened to pick last night because they were both off work, decided to come out and hang out, have a couple of drinks. And this is their favorite spot, but they never expected anything like this. I mean, it was so fast. It was in seconds, but you could see, like, blood. And there's also um, a girl right outside of the bar where, like, the tables and the uh, fences. She, uh, the, we, it looked like a bullet grazed her leg, but it, it almost, like, took half of, I mean, there was, like, blood, and she was kind of in shock, too, like, laying on the ground. Someone was helping her. But there was like blood on the concrete and um, people were running past back and forth and um, asking if everybody's okay. 
She says another experience in Tuscaloosa gave her the same feeling. Kind of reminded me of the tornado almost a little bit just because I mean, you didn't, you don't really expect anything and then it just happens so quickly and after that it's, you look back on it and you're like, that was very traumatic. Kukuru is thankful that she and her roommate were not injured. It's a blessing. And the fact that we were so close to the door is what's scary because, I mean, if we had walked in, you know, 10 minutes later or if we had been playing pool or if we had, you know, took 10 minutes more to park and then we could have seen him walking in or seen him walking on the road or been just outside the door. And that's like, I'm just, I feel blessed that, you know, we were safe. After this, does she think any different of Tuscaloosa? Not necessarily, no. I mean, I think my mom in Michigan would say otherwise and she would say I need to come home. But she, uh, at Tuscaloosa, I mean, bad things happen everywhere you go. So I think, um, the police actually responded while we were walking to our car. So, I mean, it was that quick that, so I, that makes me feel safe, but um, I don't, Tuscaloosa in general, um, I don't feel like it's changed. Now, as we heard Nicole say there, she is very thankful to be alive. She said that a lot of the people, after they heard the initial gunshots, she said mm -hmm. the whole entire place just went quiet. And she was just so stunned that her roommate literally had to grab her by the wrist and jerk her to the ground mm -hmm. to keep her out of the harm's way. And, you know, just incredible stories coming out of this tragedy. Terrifying. And unfortunately, because of the way all this transpired, it was a very bold uh, incident that happened. A lot of people witnessed this. Now you talked to another individual who actually helped one of the victims. We did. One of the victims who was actually shot, uh, the witness says in the back, shot in the back, crawled into the bar next door, 1831, and uh, the person we're here from tonight at 10 actually stopped, called 911, helped the victim, held, held napkins on their wounds until paramedics could arrive. We'll hear that amazing story coming up tonight at 10. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Heartbreaking. And uh, we'll have another live report on WVUA News at 6 coming up for you in just a couple minutes. Live in downtown Tuscaloosa, I'm Lynn Brooks, WVUA News. All right, thank you, Lynn and Daniel, for those reports. Wilkins has been charged in connection with a shooting in Northport. Now, that happened, or that charges came out just about uh, an hour ago. This happened around 11.45 last night, just minutes before the mass shooting in downtown Tuscaloosa. Our crews were on the scene moments after this happened. Police say Wilkins is facing additional charges for attempted murder and for shooting into an occupied dwelling in relation to the Northport shooting. Our crew was on the scene as investigators were at the residence on 4th Avenue East in Northport in the Indian Lake subdivision. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Steve Anderson says shell casings recovered at that scene match the ones at the Tuscaloosa shooting. And Anderson says a 30-year-old male was taken to DCH for gunshot wounds. Police are investigating whether this shooting evolved from a dispute between rival motorcycle gangs. Also, we have some information about some of the people shot in downtown Tuscaloosa. Of the 17 people shot at last report, three were listed in critical condition and one very critical. Also out of the 17, three were University of Alabama students, but all had non-life-threatening injuries. Now, UA also tells us a football support staff member suffered non-life-threatening injuries.